What's up, how's everyone doing? Today is November the 3rd, 2017, and I have these two interesting packages that just arrived here. I wonder what it could be. By the title, you guys already know what this is, but... Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Now this is so exciting. Oh my god. Uh oh. So, today I'm here to unbox not one, but two iPhone 10s. Are you guys ready? Oh, you know, most people when they unbox stuff, they like take a peek before, but I have not seen anything. Let's get that precious seal. Oh my goodness. Woo. And I'm gonna do both at the same time. I have one in silver, one in space gray. So I'm gonna open this up. All right. And I'm gonna just change the camera over here. Put this to the side. I'm gonna give you guys that view as we take off the cover. And of course, the box normal you have the design by Apple in California as normal and here it is Did you look at that so this is the silver here we have the space gray all right so we peeled off the seal and would you look at this? Oh my God. That's one of the most beautiful phones I've ever seen. Especially with that stainless steel around the edges. It's freaking beautiful. You know, I had to, I had to stay up until 3 a.m. last week to pre-order this, but I think it's definitely worth it. All right, what do you guys say we turn it on? So, power it up. Let's see. Oh my God, my hand's shaking. So freaking excited. Yeah, today is, it's, it's 11 o'clock on Friday, November the 3rd. So I'm pretty sure this is one of the first like normal person people unboxing since I know there was people from with like media privileges and stuff that got their phones early. Oh, but here we go. All right, so let's get started. All right, so it says hello, swipe up. English, United States. If you have an iPhone or iPad running, I also have to bring it nearby to sign in. Oh, cool. So, I'm gonna do that with my phone. Let's see how this works. So, I put the phone next to it. Bring it nearby. I have it nearby. Let's try again. There we go. Continue. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Oh, cool. So this is like the Apple Watch. Okay. I'm not going to show you guys this time. Setting up your new iPhone. Oh my God. The display on this thing is crazy. It's so crisp. All right, I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi. And now I'll let you guys see the space gray. So I'll peel off the seal. And I have to admit, in real life, it does look more grayish. And yeah, but look at that dark stainless steel. It looks just like the Apple Watch stainless steel. Beautiful. And the back is not black. It looks black, but it's actually a very dark gray. Beautiful. All right, let's put that one to the side. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put the case on so I don't scratch it. I got this, just a simple case from Amazon. Looks pretty nice, I have to admit. All right, so Face ID. Let's set up Face ID. How to set up Face ID. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the camera over this way so you guys can see me doing that. Get started. All right, so you guys see it says position your face in the frame. Move your head in a circle. Okay. 
Ah, first face ID complete. That was really fast. Now the other way. Feels like I'm stretching my neck. All right, face ID is now set up. Cool. Setting up your Apple ID. Oh, this is going well so far, going well. All right, guys, so it's finally set up and running. So we'll start the phone. Oh, and you see it already unlocked, saw my face, so you go swipe right in. And all my apps are downloading and stuff. But first of all, the display, oh, I have to get, the control center is here now, this full brightness. The display is beautiful, I and mean, we have to admit, it looks really nice. And, uh, I mean, yeah, everything else seems pretty normal. It's, let's see the camera. Oh, cool. And there you guys are. Woo. All right, how about we try a portrait mode with the front camera? Okay, so that looks really weird. Okay. So now you have all these modes also with the portrait mode. Sorry for how I look, I was not ready, it was like working outside and stuff. So, we took our first portrait mode selfie. Look at that. And the other camera looks beautiful. It's gonna be weird getting used to always swiping home like for all the apps and stuff. And then you can swipe in between apps, it's pretty cool. But yeah, you have the notifications on the left side, the control center on the right side. And again, let's look at the face ID. And works pretty good. Uh, I wonder if I put it on the table, if it would still work. So I'm gonna go like this, okay? I'm gonna have my phone on the table, and then I'm gonna unlock it, look at it from here. Hmm having a little bit of trouble. You have to really like look at it. So So I'm I'm giving you guys an honest review. I'm not like all the other people who got their phones for free, so I actually paid for my phone. So I can tell you that the Face ID is not as fast to me as everyone else made it seem. It definitely has like a little second delay, but maybe it's just the way I set up my phone or the way uh I don't know the Maybe, I don't know, maybe mine's a little weird, but like I saw before if they had it on the table and they would just like glance over it, it would unlock. Like that time it worked because I got my face over it, but you really have to like look at it. So if I'm looking at the camera, you guys, and I go like this and it sees my face, it doesn't unlock until I look at it. So it's definitely going to take some getting used to, but it's super cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, the phone is freaking awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go try taking some pictures with it and uh, we'll see how it goes from there and then I'll show you guys in the video. Alright guys, so this is a 4K 60 frames per second test on the new iPhone 10. I hope you guys see how smooth everything is. Pretty impressive. Also pay attention to the stabilization. So right now I'm just I'm walking while filming. And it seems very stable. Everything just looks really smooth. So yeah, this is the test for the rear camera, 4K, 60 frames per second. Looks pretty cool. Okay guys, so I just noticed a pretty big issue. Or not issue, but like a downfall of this phone. When you're in the sunlight, I have a iPhone 10 right here and then I have a 7 Plus right here. You can definitely tell that the old 7 Plus with the uh, LCD display is definitely brighter. Like in the sunlight, I can tell that my old phone is brighter than my new phone and that is annoying and I do not like that. So. I don't know, maybe if it's just in the beginning now, but I just tested the brightness thing, this brightness slider, and it seems like when it gets to like 80%, it just stops right there. So I'm gonna show you guys. Have to, I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so look here. 
So you see the brightness slider? When you go up, look right there, it's not really making that much difference. That whole top section does not really do much. Whereas on the iPhone 7, it definitely makes a difference. You can see it get brighter. And this display looks a good amount brighter to me than that one. I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but I can definitely tell that this one is brighter than that one. And that's a little bit annoying. Uh, I get that it's a new technology and OLED has that problem that the displays are not as bright. But, you know, when you're getting a new phone, you want the best of the best. And that's a little disappointing to me. Um, other than that, we can test the speed of the phone. Let's see if we open. All right, let me clear my thing first. This right there. Okay, I'm putting this down so you can see the phones. Alright, so I'm gonna go into my browser. Alright, so everything is clear. Let's try loading the Apple website at the same time. We're on the same network. Everything. Hmm. All right, so it looks like the iPhone 10 loaded up faster. And even though this, I have to say, even though the display is technically bigger on the iPhone 10, it doesn't seem bigger uh, than the 7 Plus or 8 Plus because just the width, it just it's pretty, it's a lot narrower, but it's taller. So, and still there's a lot of space that's like not used. Like you can see here at the bottom how there's some white space and stuff. So let's go back home. Let's try loading the app store, let's say, or actually let's clear, let's clear all the apps first. All right, so let's clear everything. All right. And we are gonna try opening the app store. Hmm. So, it looks pretty, let's try opening the weather. All right, so, so far I'm not seeing anything that's much faster. That's really weird. Uh, let's try, let's try something else. Uh, let's try ways. All right, so that was not fair because they were not both set up. Uh, damn, I wish I had one of the games downloaded. Oh, okay, we have Flipmaster. So let's clear the, the apps. All right. All right, so you do like that. Clear everything. And we'll open Flipmaster at the same time. Let's see. Okay, this is really weird. The iPhone 7 Plus is... The following game features trampoline stunts. Uh, Alright, so let's try that again. That was weird. The iPhone 7 Plus loaded that, like, pretty fast. Alright, let's clear everything here. What the heck? How do you... Oh, wait. All right, you do it like this. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay, so now we cleared everything. And on this phone, everything's cleared. So now let's try opening that game once again. Okay, so you can see right there, they're pretty much the same in speed. Uh... All right, now let's see, Touch ID versus Face ID. Let's see which one I get into faster. So I'm gonna set the camera up like this. Okay, I'll lock both phones. All right, and I am going to lift them up at the same time and then get in and see which one works first. 
Alright, so I don't think I did that right. Let me try again. So. Go up. Alright, so that. Face ID is pretty fast. If you're looking straight at it, it works pretty well. Look again. I'm going to do the same thing. Just on this one, I'm going to put my, my finger on the button. And on this phone, I'm going to just swipe up. Alright, so. Yeah, about the same. So, my overall imp first impressions. The screen is a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's a little bit dark. And that's a little, I don't know. It's a little disappointing for me. It seems just dark compared to the 7 Plus. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera, but it definitely seems darker. And these are both on max brightness. So you can see here, max brightness, and you can see here, max brightness. This screen, it definitely looks uh, darker. And I don't think I don't I think that's why they never mentioned in the keynote about like how the nits or whatever how bright it is. So that's the first thing that is disappointing me. The second thing is I'm not really seeing the increase in performance with the like processing power and everything, like opening up apps and launching things. Everything seems to be the same for now. So I mean yeah, I'm just gonna test the camera a little bit more. We'll see if that's any improvement. But overall, the phone is a little bit disappointing, to be honest. It's, I thought it would be different. And I thought the Face ID would, I mean, from all the videos I've seen, it seemed like the Face ID was working much faster. But, uh, I mean, it's not bad. There we go. So, it works. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash first impressions and uh, Make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one peace out